What's going on, Vinyl community? Welcome to another video with The Record Spinner. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my updated vinyl listening setup. If you have been following this channel ever since its inception back in 2018, one of the first videos that I ever did was a tour of what my vinyl listening setup consisted of at the time. And it's ironic because to this day, it is my most viewed video with over 50,000 views, but it is also the most outdated video that I've ever done because with time, like many of us listeners and collectors of vinyl, we work in new components to our setups or upgrade to better equipment. And within the past year, what you saw in my original listening setup video has been replaced and I am working with a completely fresh setup that I feel overall improves the sound that I am looking for when it comes to listening to vinyl. Now, I have filled you guys in in various other videos where I have mentioned upgrading various bits of equipment, but I feel that for perhaps the new viewer that may encounter this channel for the first time, or for anyone that has been following this channel wants to be completely in the loop, I figured I would take it upon myself and update you all on what I currently listen to records on, and here it is. In my original vinyl listening setup video, the turntable I used was the U-Turn Orbit, which I still feel is a great, affordable quality turntable, but after having to tend to redoing the belt every time I wanted to switch speeds and the likeliness of the belt breaking, I felt that it was time for a change of pace, and the turntable I opted with was the Audio-Technica AT-LP120X USB. Now, I should say that this turntable is the more up-to-date model of the standard LP120, with some major improvements refinements and a lower price. I won't go too in depth into the comparison, I'll save that for another video. Now I'm sure you've seen many people go for this turntable and for understandable reasons because this turntable has full plug and play capability, it covers all the bases, and it has some extra perks. In terms of the design, it is modeled after the Technics SL1200 and it has a bunch of essential and pleasing features. Upon lifting the dust cover, what we are looking at is a direct drive turntable, meaning that the motor is located directly under the platter, and given the amount of heavy listening that I do, going this route is a good divergence from belt drive turntables. The strobe dots on the platter come in handy when it comes to making sure the turntable is running at an accurate speed. It manages to play all three speeds, 33 and a third, 45 and 78 RPM, and just a click of a button. There are adjustable counterweight and anti-skate controls depending on the cartridge that you use, and the overall S shape of the tone arm is a very aesthetically pleasing feature. And speaking of cartridges, the ATHS6 head shell that screws right into the tone arm already comes mounted and aligned with an ATVM95E cartridge, which does sound great. Obviously, one could down the road upgrade to a different cartridge or select an interchangeable stylus, which overall improves the sound. I have an Ortofon 2M Red that I had mounted on my U-turn that I plan to work into this turntable at some point down the road. In regards to the extra bells and whistles, the fader on the right alludes to the pitch control, which can slow down or speed up the playback. I can see how something like this can be useful for, uh, for DJs to utilize. The quartz button turns the pitch function on and off, and the tempo range button allows for it to go towards 8 or 16%. On the right side of the platter, there is a stylus target light that can be used, particularly for when you are placing the needle on a record in a room with poor lighting. And alluding to the USB tag at the end of the model name, this turntable does allow you to convert your records to digital by connecting the turntable to your computer. In my original vinyl listening setup video, the speakers I used were the Edifier R1280T powered bookshelf speakers, but after a couple years of heavy usage, the wear and tear was evident and it was time to upgrade and the speakers I opted with are the Klipsch R41PM bookshelf powered speakers. Anything that Klipsch puts out is of the highest quality, and I knew I wanted to try out one of their models, and honestly, I am so blown away by how these sound. While bookshelf speakers in general are so compact in size, these speakers pack in so much power to the overall sound. The overall design of them between the tweeters and the woofers are very sleek, and the magnetic protective grills are a very nice touch. If you have these speakers properly installed at the right angle, the stereo separation of your records truly shine, and it makes listening to any record a tree and more engaging when it comes to hearing them on these speakers. Now you may be wondering what preamp I am using in this setup. 
In my original vinyl listening setup video, I was using the external U-turn Pluto preamp, but this time around, I actually have multiple options for preamp usage in my setup. The Audio-Technica AT-LP120X USB does have a built-in preamp that sounds very good to my ears, and I am currently using that. It is also bypassable depending if you were to connect the turntable to a receiver or an external preamp by simply switching between the line-in and phono toggle switch. But if I was to switch things up, one of the cool features of the Klipsch R41PM speakers is that it does have a dedicated phono preamp built into the speakers, and it is interchangeable by the flick of the toggle switch. So in my original vinyl listening setup video, all I had was the turntable, preamp, and speakers, which is the perfect easy setup to have, but I decided to add another component, and this is one that I have been always eager to check out, and that is the lovely addition of a subwoofer, and the one that I opted with is the Yamaha YST-SW015 subwoofer, and this component adds a whole other dimension to my setup. While the clip speakers do offer great bottom end, having a subwoofer as a sort of glue to the overall sound just rounds it off so nicely. And one of the things I realized about having a subwoofer is that it is so dependent based on the room your setup is in and what your acoustical treatments are like, whether it is the panels or simply the furniture that you have in the room, as well as your hearing as you are aiming to tune your setup to how you want it to sound. Since my room has carpet, the bass is absolutely absorbed by it and it provides a bit more dimension to the overall sound. And even when it comes to pressings that have well-defined bottom end, the floor will literally vibrate and it is such a thrilling effect. And to add to what I had said about tuning it to how you want it to sound, the high cut and volume knobs can be adjusted to what your ear is accustomed to or according to the frequency response of your speakers. So there you guys go. That is the tour of my updated vinyl listening setup. I can gladly say that this current listening configuration is serving its purpose by offering such amazing sound, and I am confident that it will continue to do so for the years to come. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to support this channel, be sure to check me out on Patreon. See you guys in the next video, and most importantly, keep the record spinning.